uh, hello everyone in this small video tutorial we will uh, talk about how to calculate the net present value and internal rate of return uh, using the excel sheet so we know that there are inbuilt programs or commands to calculate the uh, net present value and uh, internal rate of returns but we will not be using it but uh, rather make our own uh, worksheet uh, this will help you understand the concept and also will allow you to the customization uh, if you need uh, some uh, answers to the problem which are not a uh, bit uh, straightforward but require some complexity so for example now starts so suppose we have a rate of return which is uh, 10% and we have a uh, year 1 2 uh, year 2 3 4 and five. So we have five years, and we have a return, a return uh, cash flow of hundred dollars in each of these five years. So uh, each, of, so one year means that we are getting a hundred dollar after end of one year, right? So let me center this. So now, if you want to calculate the present value of the first cash flow, so what I'll do? So I'll say uh, present value here. So that will be equal to $100 divided by 1 plus R, where R is the rate of return. So I'll say 1 plus 10 divided by 100. Right. So uh, why did I divide it by 100? Because I want to convert the rate of return into the decimal places. And then I'll also uh, power the 1 plus R with the number of years. So now you can see that I'm getting 90.9091 so um, so if I repeat it for the next cell so you can see that again uh, I have uh, 100 divided by 1 plus R raised to power 2 because it's it is the cash flow after the two years so I can drag the same cell up to the five years and you can see that the value of hundred dollars which we receive after five years is much lower than the value of hundred dollars which we receive after one year so if we sum all of them together so we can say uh, NPV net present value is equal to sum of all these numbers together so this is your net present value so as now we can check whether we did this calculation correctly or not so let's assume that the rate of return is zero so what will happen if the rate of return is zero so in this case all the hundred dollars will remain hundred dollars so then so if there is no interest on the money then even if i um, get a money now or after five years it's the same thing so then the net present value should be five hundred dollars so you can see that if i put it zero then all the uh, future cash flows are equal to 100 and the net present value is equal to 500 right so this is uh, how you calculate the net present value so now again if the interest rate is very high then in net present value will decrease and if it's very low then the net present value will increase so um, the more the interest rate uh, better is that your money uh, is come to you earlier if it comes late then it value will decrease however if there is no interest rate then it does not matter when the cash flow is coming so uh, this program is pretty much uh, uh, comes customizable you can also put negative values here so you can see a negative cash flow or you can uh, put zero here or not put anything here uh, like you can remove these things and I can calculate the net present value still so this is how you calculate the net present value now let's go to IRR so now we have to calculate the uh, internal rate of return so what have what is in internal rate of return internal rate of return is that suppose uh, you invest money today and you get a cash flow in the future so uh, based on that cash flow you have to estimate how much uh, rate uh, of uh, return did you get on your investment so suppose your current investment uh, is $300 and you're uh, you are getting $100 for five years so now you want to calculate that how much money 
did you make um, or how much uh, rate of return did you get if you invested $300 now and you get $100 for next five years then how will I calculate that so in this case uh, what I'll do is I'll use a goal seek command I can do another program but uh, I just wanted to use this sheet here so what we'll do is so uh, so you can see that the net present value right now is one or uh, no is 485.343 because the rate of return is one so I need to bring this rate of return close enough that net present value is equal to 300 which is your initial investment so this is initial investment right so now suppose I bring it I make it 10% so it's 379 and I make it 15% and C35 so I make it 20% so it's very close to the 300 but still uh, if we want to uh, make it uh, calculate the exact value of uh, R then we can go uh, to something called um, goal seek and when we so to, to see the goal seek uh, in your Excel we have to uh, go to the options and say add ins and then click on the solver pack solver add in and say uh, okay now again I'll go there and say options and say add ins solver add in and say go here yeah and then say analysis tool pack solver add in and say okay so when I do that then I'll get uh, something called goal seek uh, in the data tab so when I click goal seek the net will say ask me uh, set cell so I'll say set cell uh, net present value and then to what which value I'll say to 300 because 300 is my initial investment by changing cell uh, R and, and then I can say okay and it will give me the value as 19.85779 so 19.8575 is our internal rate of return again suppose my initial investment is four hundred dollars so how will i do it i'll again go to what if analysis say goal seek and say the set value of net present value and then to value of 400 which is our initial investment by changing the cell r and then i press ok so it will say that my internal rate of return return is now 7.93081 so this is how you can uh, program your own uh, net present value and internal rate of return using the excel sheet so i hope uh, this tutorial will help so i'll see you next time